Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on changing the colors of chart components in SPSS. To generate some charts to work with for this video, I'm going to use these fictitious data, and I'm going to test for normality of this variable scores across all levels of the independent variable program. So I'm going to analyze, descriptive statistics, explore, and then scores to the dependent list list box program to the factor list list box. And under plots, I'm going to uncheck stem and leaf, check off histogram, and check off normality plots with tests. Click continue, and then click OK. So here we have a few different charts to work with, and I'm going to start with the histogram for the individual level of the program variable. So first, you want to double click on the chart itself, and it brings up this chart editor. And then you want to select the component that will be changed. So I want to change the color of these bars. Double click on the bars, go to filling and border. And for the first example here, I'm just going to change these bars to black and the background to white. So here we have the brown in the preview. I'm going to go to black, select that for fill, and then click apply. Now you can see there are no spaces between the bars like this because the fill color and the border color are both black. So here under border, I'm going to select white and click apply, and that leaves a little space between the bars. Next I'm going to click on the background, and I have this back color, this gray. I'm going to change that to white click apply, close, and then close this chart editor. Now we have this black and white histogram. Moving down to the next histogram, I'm going to change this one to have a black background and red bars. So again, click on the bars and bring up fill and border. Again, instead of this brown, I'm going to change this to a red. And again, the border to white, except this time I'm going to change the weight under border style, make this 3. Change that weight to 3, and you can see it changes up here in the preview. Click apply, and then the background color of the chart, I'm going to change that by selecting black. And you can also change the border color of that component as well, but we're just going to leave that as black, and click apply. So now we have a black background with these red bars in the histogram. I'll close that out. So there's two examples of histograms with color changes. Next I'm going to take a look at these QQ plots. So I'll start with this first one for the program individual, the individual level of the program variable. And again double click. And in this case I want to make this black and white so I'm going to double click on the line and change the weight to 3, make it stand out a little more, and leave the color as black. And then I can click on the data points as well, and I can change them to size 10 from 5, and click apply. So that makes these features of the QQ plot stand out a little more, and then go to the background color and change that to white. So there we have a black and white version of a QQ plot. Moving down to the second example, I'll format this in a similar way to what I did up here for this black and red histogram. So again, just double click to open up the chart editor and click on the line to get this dialog under properties. I'm going to change that to red and change the weight to 3, click apply, go to data points, and I'm going to leave these at size 5, but I am going to change them to the red color. Now notice this is the border that's changed, the fill. You can also change the fill if you wanted, clicking on here, and right now it's set to transparent, so you can see through to the gray in the circles. You can make that match the red. However, to make this stand out a little more, I'm going to change this to a 
white. So instead of transparent, it's white, and click Apply. And against this gray background, it doesn't stand out too much, but when I click on the background and change this color to black, and click Apply, it stands out a little more. So here we just really have these three components. We have the line, the points, they're plotted here in the QQ plot, and then the back color. All three have both the fill and the border available. You can also edit the pattern, which I haven't done here, but for this plot, I'm just going to leave that set to default. So then for the last example, I'm going to take a look at the box plot. So we have the box plot of the scores variable for the individual level of the independent variable program and the group level. Again, I'll double click to get the chart editor. And box plots have a few components that are different. You have this rectangle, and I'm going to change this to green and click Apply. And you can see we have the median line in this interquartile range. That's the area represented by the rectangle. And I don't want to change that to green because it'll blend in with the rectangle. I also don't want to leave this one set as black because I'm going to change the background color to black. So if we select this line, I'm going to change this to white. It'll stand out against the black background. Then you have the whiskers. You can select those. And in this case, I'll change the whiskers to green as well. And I'm going to change the weight, 0.75, to 2. And click Apply. And then go to the background color and change that to black. So close this out and close this, and then we have this box plot that stands out a bit more with these green components on the black background. I hope you found this video on changing the color of chart components in SPSS to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me, and I'll be happy to assist you.